Hi and welcome back to a new video. Finally, we are here at Computex and we will start our Computex tour from the ASUS ROG booth. They have some very interesting products such as a C870 motherboard. They're not calling it C870 yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Also a Chem 2 motherboard, new cooling solution, so I will give you a tour. We are starting with this interesting looking AIO. And it looks like somebody attached a Galaxy Fold to an AIO. So if you're looking for a big screen on an AIO, I think that is a very interesting solution. At least something I haven't seen before. Also a very interesting mechanism to fold it in and out. It's, it feels very smooth, very high quality, stays in the exact uh, same spot where you stop moving it. What I also find interesting is the place where the tubing is attached to the radiator. Usually, I mean, it would be on top or on the bottom, but here it's in the center. Not sure how easy this will be to put it inside a system. I mean, there's one next to it where the AIO is in here, but it's pretty dark, hard to see. Interesting concept. Continuing with the motherboard next to it, which is listed as next generation into the motherboard, we obviously know that it's going to be Z870, and this is going to be the Z870 Hero BTF. BTF, you see with the connectors on the backside, also connector for the graphics card here, so 24 pin connector on the backside. I already tried to open the socket, but they probably knew I was coming because they glued the socket latch mechanism, the ILM, so you cannot open it. Otherwise, I would have loved to take a look at uh, socket 1851. But yeah, maybe you have to find a different location to, to do that. But yeah, this way we can already take a look at the upcoming C870 motherboard design from Asus. As I said before, this is going to be the Maximus Hero BTF. There will obviously also be a non-BTF version that looks very similar, just with the difference that the connectors will be visible on the side. I'm pretty sure you have seen 3D printed copper structures before. And ASUS is showing a very interesting cooperation with ASEC here, also featuring Fabricate Labs. And they are the makers of such 3D printed copper structures. That is something you might have seen before, but maybe not this one. It's an electric chemical process that is used for making these. And what I find extremely impressive is the channel width that they're able to make these with. Um, it is maybe a bit difficult to see, but if you look from here and from the top down, you might be able to see the very fine cooling channels. They told me they can make cooling channels as small as 67 micrometers, which is roughly the size of a human hair. And that is very, very impressive could definitely enhance the cooling performance for AIOs for the future. And here they showed the technology where it might be used inside an AIO cooling hat. And I was not sure if you can really see it in here, so that's why I decided to first ask and start shooting with the other parts in my hand. But especially on the part on the left, you might be able to see how tiny the cooling structure of a future AIO could be. Another interesting concept ASUS is showing here is with a CAM2 memory module, compression attached memory module, if I remember correctly, basically 90 degree flipped memory module, but not dual inline. So it's not with a normal pin that you push in, but you have contacts on the PCB, you have a layer in between that contains the pins for the contacting, and then another uh, set of contact surfaces on the backside of the memory module. And what makes this quite interesting is that it has a lot of yeah, positive possibilities for the future for better cooling of the memory modules. And at least in theory, the signaling quality should also be superior to the normal DIMMs that we have nowadays. So as I said again, it's just a prototype and they're asking for feedback if customers would like to see these on desktop motherboards for the future. But it's also not like soldered on in a notebook, so you could remove it, there are screws, and replace it with different capacity, for example. Here we have probably the most absurd system of Computex. This system is powered by three PSUs in total, two times 1600 watt, a single 1200 watt, and that is needed to power those seven RTX 4090 graphics card and also a manually overclocked 7995WX AMD Threadripper overclocked manually to 4.5 GHz. This system is made by my former colleague from Casting slash OCUK 8-pack. Very impressive yeah, rendering solution, workstation. 
And what I've also found interesting is that the custom distro plate, for example, they have in here, is also partially made from aluminium. He pointed out that they're using an automotive-based fluid, which doesn't, um, yeah, which allows to not have any kind of corrosion in the system. Very impressive, very impressive, uh, yeah, computing power that you have inside a single system. Also yeah. considering the amount of theoretical power draw you have with the seven cards and the CPU, the cooling must be a huge challenge in there. But he said that the temperatures are surprisingly good. We are now in the pro art area of ASUS. I spotted three interesting looking AIOs. The first one is the Prime LC360 ARGB. Quite unique and interesting feature is this part is one big fan, basically one big fan housing with three rotors in it, which should make the pricing of the AIO a little bit cheaper than the other competitors. And this one is mid-range pricing with an LCD, also fairly nicely looking. What I personally find uh, very interesting though, and also my personal highlight when it comes to the AIO cooling here from the ASUS booth, is this ProArt AIO, which is also a cooperation with AlphaCool, because you can see those are the AlphaCool Apex metal fans, black powder coated, fits perfectly visually to the ProArt uh, visuals. We have an indicator on here that can be assigned in the software to different functions, for example, temperature or maybe flow rate. And if the temperature increases, you could have the bar increasing maybe in a red light, for example. All right, so that was a quick tour from the ASUS booth. I hope you enjoyed it, even though the audio might not be as good. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye-bye.